Hey guys. So in this video, I just want to show you the features of smart music. I know some of you are like, okay, I don't know how to submit the assignments. I see them, but how do I submit? So let's just do a brief review. All right. I'm just going to go to this combination study for percussion. All right. So I'm going to put in the percussion book that I like. You don't have to worry about this, okay? If you want to search for music, you want to practice that I don't assign, that's fine. Or if you're just working on the assignments that I sent to you, that's also fine. Regardless of what, once you get to the piece of music and you open it, I'm going to open All right. Oh, upgrades to print. I'm not going to print anything right now. But anyway, so you have tracks, you have my takes, you have assessment, you have loop, and you have display. Now, this is not an assignment that I've sent out yet. But if I want to practice this, it's best to turn on my part. You know, if you're not comfortable with reading the music yet, make sure this light is on. See, it can turn off. It can turn on. This particular song doesn't have accompaniment. But if it had accompaniment, my advice would be to turn it down. Or you could turn it off, you know, just so you could hear my part. All right. Right here, this 100, this is the tempo. I can slow it down. I can speed it up. But realize that with the assignments, if I give you a specified tempo, you have to keep the tempo in order to submit a recording. So you can refresh to get back to the original tempo. Okay. Here is the record button. And here is the play button. Here's the microphone if you want to check the features. All right, here's a drop down menu. If you press the down arrow, you can see all the different exercise sizes. If you want to just go to the next exercise, you can click the arrow that goes to the right. Previous exercise, the arrow to the left. Basically, the less than sign is going back, the greater than sign is going forward. You can change your instrument up if it offers other parts. All right. So anywho, if I click record, this is just the percussion part. So the percussive option is the only one available. For those of you that don't have your instruments, remember for partial credit, you can select percussive through microphone and just clap the rhythms. But when we get back in the building, you have to record the melodic portion. That's if you play flute, clarinet, trumpet, trombone, tuba, recorder, okay? That's melodic options. Percussive is rhythm only. All right, select this mode. Test your microphone. Make a little noise so it can test your microphone. You know what I'm saying? Then click start. And you see? Two, three, four. So you can see everything that's correct is in green. Everything that's incorrect is in red. Your goal is to get all greens. Now, if you happen to be off the beat, the note may be slightly in front or slightly behind, then you'll see yellow. All right. Now, this is an assignment that I have to submit, but if this was something you have to submit, you would see delete save and submit and you would click submit to turn it in to me do not settle for anything under an 85 percent treat it just like breezing through theory you can play it back you don't like it re-record all right bye